Baby Jeff has not found its own balance yet, but he will get there. Just look at his big sister, four-year-old Stevie. At this stage, she's able to forage for leaves and grass. But even she, looks like she's on her own, was still under the watchful eye of an elder chimp of the troop. Well, Jeff has decided to end up with his walking mark. I'm getting Mammy to carry me, ZZ does, justifying it to herself as it was getting too hot and she puts him down in the shade. In the wild for the first five months of their lives, the likes of Jeff, baby chimpanzee, is carried everywhere by its mother, thanks slightly to her poor. He will begin to walk at about six months and he'll weigh about nine kilograms at about a year old. The baby is dependent on its mother for at least the first two years, sometimes still riding on her back for periods of up to four years of age. By this time, the mother will have another baby and the elder one will have to fend for itself. Spends much of its time with other chimpanzees of its of their own age. Over the next four to five years, we'll learn some of the best feeding places and how to behave as a senior member of its troop. Folks, if we could take a second to ask if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos from my channel, hit the subscribe button to get notified for the best part. It's free. Now back to the parents. Female chimps were once thought to be so protective of their babies that they would become either violent towards other chimps, coming near their babies, or hide their babies away if any other chimp approached. This is completely turned on its head. As new research from Maluda Barascu, who spent 11 months camped out in the Ugandan jungles, there in the Kilbane National Park, which has the largest chimpanzee population in the world. There's over 200 chimpanzees, including 50 mothers and their infants. Every day, Barascu witnessed chimps sharing infant care, in other words, babysitting. Big brothers and sisters would help out. Amazingly, infants have a lot of leeway when it comes to even interacting with adult males. The infants can climb on them and pull their ears and pinch them. With the males thinking it's just really cute and they'll play with the infants. According to Barascu's research, this collective caregiving from babysitters can contribute to a young chimpanzee's survival and success. Mother chimps are able to wean their young earlier, making them nutritionally independent and allowing more time for the female to reproduce. Chimpanzees are a closest living relative, and they don't finish weaning their young until around the young is about four to five years of age. When they do, they're introduced to a wide variety of food and meat. Chimpanzees were historically believed to be herbivores meaning that he only ate plants. However, a young Dr. Jane Goodall was the first to document cooperative hunting among chimpanzees while working in Goli, Tanzania in the early 60s. She has witnessed firsthand how wild mammals were working together in order to capture and eat large animals. They were soon discovered eating insects as well, such as termites and then laid up more meat and other animal products. The animal and meat products chimpanzees prefer to eat will include eggs, insects, large prey like red colobus monkeys or bush babies, even to flying squirrels, whatever is in their locality. Chimps are once found across the entire sub-Saharan Africa, but now sadly, and for the four subspecies of chimps to have been put on the IUCN red list, as critically endangered is the Western chip. It's truly shocking is just over 100 years ago there was an estimated 1 to 2 million chimps across the sub saharan African region. Now, as of 2023, there is only an estimated 107,000 out there in the world. And as of that, there is only 21,300 to 55,600 individuals that would be the Western chimp. The main reason and the main threats faced by the Western chimp are poaching for illegal bushmeat and also poaching for pet traits. If a baby chimp is found without its parents, found on their own, they're very malnourished and some do not survive. 
also the destruction of their rainforest habitat due to logging, mining and agriculture. They are also very susceptible to diseases such as the Ebola virus. Coupled with this and a very low birth rate, sadly you get our current situation. With the help of organisations like the WWF as in the World Wildlife Fund and also Born Free organisation to just name a few, the government putting stricter laws in place such as protect chimpanzees through anti-poaching and effective law enforcement, help governments establish and manage national parks, monitor chimp populations, and encourage sustainable use of forest resources in park buffer zones, also helping change the minds and educating the local population on chimps, so they are not considered a pest or do not have to poach them because they are more ethical ways such as tourism to see them and get money into the local community. Basically the same safeguards have been put into place for the gorilla. Hopefully these will help save these beautiful and extremely intelligent mammals. Folks if you like this video you might like Google's next recommendation another video on the western chimp the most critically endangered ape. I'd like to thank all of you for watching we stay safe and if you haven't subscribed already think about hitting that subscribe button and i'll talk to you in the next one bye for now